Oh, I have a good story about Parks Art. <laughs> so I got a I got a PO box, and then I get like a an email showing me what <laughs> I get an email showing me what mail has been sent to my PO box. I keep getting mail that's <laughs> I hate you that's sent to other people. So I started sending Parks Art screencasts because he's helped he helped me set up the PO box and has helped me with other legal stuff. So I started sending him screencasts of the mail I was getting and asking him questions. I wrote, hey, I got this in my P.O. box. It's a message from the city of Des Moines Police Department for a different person named Josh for a traffic violation. And I was like, hey, I got this in my P.O. box. Since it was sent to me, am I legally responsible for paying the fine? And Parks is like, no, of course not. Write out the address, cross out the address, write return to sender and put it in the outgoing mailbox. Um, and I was like, okay, cool. And I said, if I forward this to you, will you pay it? And Ian Parkster said, absolutely not. I said, will you shoot it? And he said, no, absolutely not. He said, I'm about to drive to my dentist. You can watch if you want. I said, watch you at the dentist? Like, watch your mouth? And he said, no, watch me on Google Maps. And I said, can I live stream your mouth? And he said, no. So then I got another, I got another one the next day of, from the city of Seattle, from the License and Tax Administration. This one uh, is from another, to another person named Dumb Lau. So it's so somebody named Dumb Lau. Uh, and it's from the License and Tax Administration, and so I told Parkster, wait, do I have to pay this guy's taxes since his IRS form went to me? Parkster said, no, what? You better be trolling. Just cross out the recipient, write return to sender, receipt no longer at this address, and drop it in outgoing mailbox. Why in the world did you pay someone else's taxes? That's not even his taxes, that's a renewal for his business license. You don't have to pay anyone else's traffic violations or their taxes or their business license renewal fees. So then I sent him another one, which is just spam from a from some hospital nearby that said, now's the time for a mammogram, and said, what the fuck, do I have to get a mammogram now? And that's when Parkster finally realized I was fucking with him, and he said, you're literally trolling. Oh, it was great. It was it made me so happy, Parkster. Thanks for um, letting me know that <laughs> I don't have to pay some guy's taxes because it went to my P.O. box. Uh, anyway, hi, Parkster. Just don't shoot my mammogram, please. If I sent you my divorce, ah! do you legally have to leave my wife? Uh, I believe so. I think those are the laws.